welcome back to our channel ability to learn by discovery day program it is finally friday now man time flies so fast especially if we keep ourselves productive and since you stayed with us for the whole week we have a little surprise for you today we have some staff who want to say hello here they are hi my name is eleanor teacher aides of uh, yellow class I uh, just want to say hello, how are you doing today, hope you're doing okay, and hoping to see you soon, okay, bye, have a nice day. Hi, do you still remember this vehicle? This is Dante from Discovery Day Program, stay safe and be healthy. Hi everyone, I'm Emmy Maranini, Teachers A from Yellow Class. Have a nice day, stay safe and healthy. Hi, I'm Nelia Mendoza, teacher aid from Green Class. Stay safe, see you soon. Hi, my name is Maria Randol, Discovery Day Program from a Blue Class. I just quick message to you to see how are you doing, how's your hands doing, hopefully your face is helping you. I talk to you later. Have a great day. There! I bet a lot of you got excited seeing your staff. By the way, thank you to the staff who sent their videos. A lot of them actually sent me their videos, but as of now, I can only put some of it uh, for each episode. So if you didn't see them today, don't worry. You'll definitely see them in the future videos. Anyway, let's get back to our program. And as usual, we start with our daily exercise. Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday. I'm coming to you from my backyard. Thought I'd get some fresh air today. Hopefully you guys can get out and get some fresh air too. Um, I have a game for you today and I'm gonna call it Fitness Charades. So, let me explain how the game works before we start. So, I have a bowl of different sporting activities or um, games, things that you can act out. So, what I'm going to do is pick one of these and I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read the sport or um, activity you're going to be doing and then we're going to act it out together. So, let's do a sample. First one says, swing a golf club. All right, so we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna do our charades. All right, swing a golf club. One, keep your head down. Two, let me see you swing the golf club. Good, do it again. Swing a golf club. Bring your arms back over your shoulder. Good. One more time. All right, so that's how it's going to go, and we're going to keep doing that for the rest of our papers. All right, let's get started, and I'll add some music. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to shake up our charade bowl. Let's reach our hand in there and pull out our first, oh, no, it's all stuck together, our first charade. Open it up. All right, get ready because we are gonna go skiing, even though it's like 80 degrees outside. All right, give yourself ample room and whoosh, whoosh. Down the hill we go, faster, lean forward. It kind of looks like I'm doing the cat daddy dance, if anybody out there knows what that is. All right, lean forward, now you try. Good, you're doing way better than me. I was never a skier, but I'm coming. I'm coming. This is fun. Are you guys having fun? All right. It is hot out there today, but it's a good thing we're skiing. <sighs> Let's pick another one. All right, shake, shake, shake. This one, I want to see you do it with me. Jeez, who picked a post-it notes to do this with? All right, next one. Swim underwater. 
Seems easy enough. If only I had a pool. All right, here we go. Down, down, down we go. And swim. Scuba. Wow, you guys are great at doing the breaststroke underwater. Now me, I hate opening my eyes underwater, but you guys look good. All right, let's see it. Great job. This is kind of funny. All right, next up. Our fit and charade is going to be dum da da dum. Aha! Pitch a baseball. All right, come on, let's go. All right, warm up your arm. Do some windmills. Stretch your arms. All right, now get ready. You're gonna stand on the pitcher's mound. No, Emily, turn the other way. There you go. All right, stand on the pitcher's mound. And 95 miles an hour. All right, that was just a warm up. I can go faster. All right, let me talk with my catcher. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. And 200 miles an hour. Woo! Burning rubber out there. All right. You guys know how to pitch a baseball. Next up. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Just clumped together. Should have used paper that was not sticky, but I only have limited resources. All right, next up is our running. Oh gosh, all right. If you cannot run, you can do it in a chair just like that. Three, two, one, on your marks, it's it, go! That's me when I'm running after donuts. Go, go, go! Or I'm getting chased by a swarm of angry bees. That's the only time I ever run in my life. Woof, what a workout. Now, remember, if you are seated, you can do these movements in your chair, like you're pretending to run. Pretending to run is always better than actually running, okay? Anyways, let's forget about running. Our next activity is going to be... Da -da -da -da. Bicycling. All right. Now, I don't really know how I'm supposed to do a bicycle while I'm standing up. So I'm going to do my best at pedaling and maybe I'll just pretend that my arms are the bicycle pedals. Yeah, that's the best that I got. Can you guys do a better bicycle? Let me see you guys pretending to ride a bicycle. Yeah, that one was kind of a wash. Hopefully the next one is better, let's see. Surfing, all right. Now, I did see a lot of people over at Huntington Beach this weekend, but that is not good. So come on, we'll do it in the backyard and we'll just pretend to be surfing. Ba 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 All right, let's see you surf. Surfboard. Surfboard. Hang loose, bra. I'm having too much fun out here, guys. All right, next up. We should play this game at the day program. I like it. Minus the running part. All right, batting a baseball. All right, now we all miss the angels, don't we? But when we do finally see them again, we see them step up to the plate. They dig their heels in and they practice a couple swings. They wait for the pitch and boom! They knock it out of the park. And then what they do is they watch it to see just how far it goes. And then usually it hits a car in the parking lot. But let's try it again. All right, step up. Get your stance ready. Elbow behind your head and step and swing. Whew. This is a great ab workout, you guys. Money, I'm a pro. I'm a pro batter. I'm like Mike Trout. Also, Mike Trout, I'm available to be sponsored for this video. All right, we are still looking. We still have a bunch of charades left, but unfortunately they're stuck together because life. Disco, all right, so this is not a sport. 
but it's an activity. Let's, okay, this is gonna be embarrassing. Oh dear, what are you doing? Stop it, no, no. Oh man, that is some dedication. I'm just doing this for you clients, okay? I don't dance. I'm doing this for you. All right, let's see your disco moves. I believe in miracles since you came along. Yeah, I should stop singing too. Self-destruct sequence activated. All right, now, next up, ping pong. Did you know that ping pong is actually an Olympic sport? All right, get your wrists ready. All right, now these people kind of like jump back and forth and pachow! Pachow! Backhand! Get ready. Oh, oh! Pachow! Ping pong paddles are also called blades for those who play the sport actively. Thanks, JR, for that move. I like that move. I'm gonna copy it. Kachoo! Pow! Great job. It's all in the wrist. All in the wrist. <sighs> Need a wrist guard. It's on fire. All right. Next up. You guys having fun with this game so far? Not gonna lie, it's pretty hot out today. But hopefully you guys are inside and staying safe and healthy. Next up, we are going to play basketball. So, you can dribble a basketball. I'm doing it between my legs. I think that's what I'm doing. Uh-huh, dribble it between your legs and pop it up for the jump shot. Shoo. Mm, dribble it between the legs and jump shot. Jump shot! All right, let's see you guys do it. Dribble it, jump shot. Good job. I know you guys like basketball. We play that a lot. Our next sport is boxing. Okay, this is the dance, right? No. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Boxing, like we did in yesterday's activity. Oh, you guys already know how to do this. Jab, jab, cross, 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 jab, uppercut, uppercut. Uh, more jabs. Yeah, you guys know how to do it. Oh. Oh, why are you hitting me? Oh, you guys have some strong arms now. Very nice. Woof. That's enough boxing. I don't want to get hurt anymore. Alrighty. Here comes kicking a soccer ball. All right, now soccer, as you know, is only with your feet. So you're gonna dribble it. That's what they call when you pass it back and forth between your feet. Line it up and shoot. Of course I scored. If this is imaginary sports, of course I'm gonna score. Shoot! There we go. Well, I played soccer when I was four, so basically I'm a genius. I'm just kidding. I was just the goalie, and I got hit a lot. All right, soccer, thanks for the memories. We have just a few more left. Here comes our next activity or sport, archery. So, archery is the one with the bow and the arrow. So you have your bow, you load it with the arrow, you pull it back, and like just like that, bring it back by your ear, and then release. And you should hit your target. So, put your arrow on your bow, pull it back, Bring it eye level and release. Now, I also did archery in Girl Scouts, so basically I am just a warrior like Mulan. I don't know if that's true. But I do want to see the new Mulan movie. Hopefully it's coming out soon on Netflix or something. I want to watch it. Oh, speaking of Hulu, we have our next dance is the Hulu where you sit and you watch TV. Yes, I'm turning on my computer and I'm eating popcorn and I'm watching my favorite shows on Hulu. What? It's not Hulu. Oh, it's hula. Like the dance. Okay, let me see if I can do the hula dance. All right, work up your hips. Hula dancing is all about the hips. All right, I'm ready, all right. Oh. It'd be nice to be in Hawaii right now. Alright, bring it around. 
my crown. Where's my grass skirt? I think I left it in storage. Mm, now I know. Hula is not the same as Hulu. We've been in quarantine for too long. I'm just thinking about binge watching more shows. All right, next activity. Serve a tennis ball. Serve is in capital letters, people, so you better serve. All right, what they do is they, again, dribble the tennis ball with their racket, then they throw it up over their heads and whack it across the net and whack. Woo! That was a good one. All right, let's dribble it again. Dribble your ball, tennis ball, throw it up over your head and whack. You guys remember playing a lot of these games on the Wii. Let's see you serve that tennis ball. Yeah, I know. I'm a Wii pro, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, serve it. Let me see. Good job. All right, two more. All right, I am finding our next activity in the bowl. They are still stuck together. In the future, Emily, don't use post-it notes. But hopefully this gives you guys a little second to catch your breath, drink some water, and gear up for our last two activities. Here we go. Catch a football. Okay, now I know you guys know how to throw a football, but do you know how to catch a football? All right. Now, whenever I see people catching football on TV, they're like, oh, oh, where is it? Oh, and then they like position themselves and they run and then they catch it like it's a baby coming out of a burning building and they like take a knee. All right, let's try it again. The ball is coming down. I got it. Catch. Yeah, they're always like, I got it. I got it. Well, while I'm here, I might as well do a Tim Tebow. Yep. I mean, might as well. Last one, because I'm getting tired. I don't know about you guys. Skateboarding! Alright, I can be Tony Hawk for a minute or so. Alright, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm a skateboarder. Alright, here we go. I'm skateboarding downhill. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same like surfing, but not as much moving. Alright, now, what you're going to do with your leg, you're going to push yourself. Push. Push off the foot onto the ground and keep your balance. Now you can even jump and do a trick if you know how. I don't know how, but I do know how to jump. You guys, that is it for today. I am so tired and it is so hot out here. But I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. Have fun in the morning show and we'll see you later. And it's time to do our daily show again where we provide you with educational facts and trivias for your daily knowledge. I'm hearing something. I'm hearing daily observances. Our first observance is International Conscientious Objector Day. What is a conscientious objector? Well, it is a person with their conscience choosing not to participate in something they do not agree with. For example, if there is a war you don't agree with, you can choose not to participate in the armed forces due to your conscience. Sometimes there are better and peaceful options to solve an issue than war. Next up, Endangered Species Day. Endangered Species Day is an opportunity for people of all ages to learn about endangered species and how to protect them. For example, the picture you see right now is the California condor that is critically endangered species. It is one of North America's largest land birds that became extinct in the wild in 1987. Ah, that was when I was born. All of the remaining California condors are captured and tagged. By tagging them, we can keep count of how many species exist and work. To help these endangered species, it is best to protect their environment. Next is National Straw Hat Day. I know I'm not wearing one. I used to have one, I just couldn't find it today. Well, summer days are coming. Keep it cool with a nice straw hat. Next is we have Peace Officers Memorial Day. Peace Officers Memorial Day is a day to pay tribute to officers who have died or became injured in the line of duty. These officers work to protect us and maintain the peace and are integral part of the society. Next up. It's National Chocolate Chip Day. What is your favorite chocolate chip? There's peanut butter chip, 
there's white chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip, and many more. Do you prefer them in pre-made or packaged or freshly baked? And our last observance is National Pizza Party Day. What is more fun than a pizza party, right? You get to hang out with your friends and share a pizza. And speaking of pizza, what kind of pizza would you bring to a pizza party? Now time for some challenges. For National Chocolate Chip Day, talk about your favorite chocolate chip brand and where you can get them. Next up, for Endangered Species Day, try looking online for an extinct or endangered species and learn more about them. Today in History In 1940, McDonald's opened their first restaurant in San Bernardino, California. McDonald's has a very controversial history. Originally, this fast food was owned by brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald. Then, in 1955, a businessman named Ray Kroc was amazed by how fast McDonald's serves food. Because back in the day, fast foods are kind of a new thing. Then, he joined the company as a franchise agent. Ray was so excited and wanted to expand the company. He really wanted for McDonald's to grow and be more well-known. On the other hand, the brothers preferred to just keep it local, insisting that the bigger the company gets, the harder it is to maintain quality products. That didn't stop Ray in his goal. He worked hard and finally became the president of McDonald's. He continually clashed with the brothers and bought out eventually the brother shares six years later in 1961. While Ray Kroc was successful in reaching his goal, the brothers had lost not only their fast food restaurant, but also their brand, which was based on their last name. The San Bernardino restaurant has since closed down in 1972, but it became the McDonald's Museum in 1998. In 2010, Jessica Watson became the youngest person who sailed around the world by herself, without any assistance and without stopping. At that time, Jessica Watson was only 16 years old when she set sail around the world. Departing from Sydney, Australia on the 18th of October 2009, she completed her round trip on May 15, 2010. The reason behind her incredible journey is because she wanted to challenge people's expectation of what they thought young people were capable of. She was also inspired by Jesse Martin, a German-Australian sailor who has the title of the youngest sailor to sail around the world at that time. Notable figures born today In the year 1859, Pierre Curie was born. Pierre Curie was a French scientist who worked with his wife Marie Curie. His works include crystallography, magnetism, piezoelectricity, and radioactivity. His wife and him won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1903. Notable figures who passed today. In 1886, Emily Dickinson passed away from Bright's disease. She was an American poet. Out of 1,800 poems she wrote, only 10 of them were published. So, what are some of your favorite poems that she wrote? The Daily Weather For today's forecast, it will be sunny with a high of 80 and a low of 62. Chance of rain is zero and humidity is 46%. The weather today is a bit warmer and sunny. Humidity has gone up while there is no chance of rain. And that is our weather for today. The Daily News For many of us, it takes a long time to build a good exercise habit. And with gyms closed across the country, many people have seen their exercise routines disappear. A generous gym owner in Illinois anticipated that and did his part to make sure that the customers stay active and meet their goal. Drew Witten, owner of Be Strong Gym in Bloomington, Illinois, allowed his members to sign out more than $40,000 worth of workout equipment to use at home, free of charge, during the state's stay-at-home order. 
He said that he didn't want people to miss their workouts, and he's gratified to see how it's bringing families together. The small business owner has promised to retain and pay all eight of his employees and has offered members a free month when the quarantine is over. And that is for today's news. The following preview has been approved for all audiences. Also, it was brought to you by Liz. So Liz, take it away. Hey everybody, this is Liz. And these are the teacher's pets. Starting with Discovery's goldfish, we have them in the aquarium. Emily's pets. Nami the black lab with that boopable nose. Super cute. And Mia the German shepherd. Taking a nice quick little nap on the couch. Adorable. Joe's dog. Marshmallow the Maltese and can you guess why they called him Marshmallow? That's right the white fur Next up we have Karina's cat gray Can you guess why they named her gray? Her fur that's right Ooh, Ian's cat Jubei He's a boy cat, and he's so cute! Next are my pets. I think I have the most pets, starting with Stella the Tuxedo Cat. Zelda the Teacup Chihuahua. Jackie, she's a Torby Cat. That's a Torty and a Tabby Cat mixed together. Ooh, Merlin, a, a variety of pets. It's a hamster. His name is Merlin. Well, that's all of them. See you guys next time. And again, that is all we have for today. Hope you liked this episode and hope you learned something new. Another week is over, but wasn't it wonderful? Also, isn't it nice to see some of the staff too? Anyways, thank you again for joining us for the whole week. Have a great weekend, stay safe, and as always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.